Ukraine preparing for peace talks with Russia in June, fake debunked. Russian propaganda has launched another fake about Ukraine, according to RBC Ukraine media outlet. In particular, it says that Kyiv is preparing to start negotiations with the Kremlin in June, Center for Countering Disinformation of Ukraine reports. The information that Ukraine is allegedly preparing to start peace talks with Russia in June is not true. The dissemination of these theses online is a manipulation around the statement of President of Ukraine Volodymyr Zelensky, the statement said. The center noted that a disinformation thesis is being spread that Zelensky announced the beginning of peacemaking with Russia in June 2024. Zelensky stated, the global majority should force Russia into peace and can do it. It is in June that the path to a just peace can begin. In making this statement, the president was referring to the peace summit based on the Ukrainian peace formula in Switzerland, which will become a platform for discussing the future of the peace process. The Russian Federation will not be a participant in this event, so there is no question of any peace agreement being made, the center noted. In addition, it is noted that such messages help the enemy in its efforts to sow dissent moods in Ukrainian society. Since the beginning of Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine, several rounds of negotiations have been held between the two sides. However, these talks have not yielded significant results. The Ukrainian government is now clearly stating that it will not sit at the negotiating table again until Russia withdraws its troops from Ukrainian territory. Earlier, NBC News reported that the US and the EU had begun informal discussions with Ukraine on the possibility of peace talks with Russia. During these discussions, the issues that Ukraine could agree to in exchange for peace were discussed. However, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky strongly denied these claims. He emphasized that no one was putting pressure on Ukraine to negotiate. Thus, at the moment, the prospects for the resumption of negotiations between Ukraine and Russia remain vague. Ukraine is making its position clear, refusing to negotiate under pressure. Five people have been hospitalized during an attack by a sword-wielding assailant in northeast London. Two police officers are said to be among those attacked. The 36-year-old assailant has been arrested. The incident occurred near Hainaut tube station in London at around 7 a.m. The assailant stabbed four people after crashing his van into a house, according to an eyewitness account. A resident from Langclose said under the condition of anonymity that she saw the assailant standing outside her home next to a body and wielding a sword in front of two unarmed police and an ambulance. He was wielding his sword trying to attack the police but then they sprayed him and he ran away. We were very scared and trying to hide and not show ourselves through the window because he was standing right next to our house and he could have seen us if he looked up, the eyewitness said. He had a big samurai sword basically. It was a huge sword. I saw it all from my bedroom window and then when he went into the driveway, a couple doors down, I ran outside and then the police tasered him there, another local resident Chris Bates told local media. The press conference scheduled to be held by Metropolitan Police is delayed. Tornadoes killed four people in Oklahoma, including an infant, and left thousands without power after a destructive outbreak of severe weather flattened buildings in the heart of one rural town and injured at least 100 people across the state, according to Associated Press. Significant damage was reported across the region, including in Marietta, where damage was reported to Marietta Hospital. Hospital patients took shelter during the extreme weather, and no injuries had been reported there. The storms also forced the closure of Interstate 35 North at the Texas state line because of overturned vehicles and power lines that were thrown across the roadway. The Chickasaw Nation was providing support for the storm response in Marietta. More than 20,000 people were still without electricity hours after tornadoes began late Saturday night. The destruction was extensive in Sulphur, a town of about 5,000 people, where a tornado crumpled many downtown buildings, tossed cars and buses and sheared the roofs off houses across a 15-block radius, about 30 people were injured in Sulphur, including some who were in a bar as the tornado struck. Hospitals across the state reported about 100 injuries, including people apparently cut or struck by debris, according to the Oklahoma Department of Emergency Management. The deadly weather in Oklahoma added to the dozens of reported tornadoes that have wreaked havoc in the nation's midsection since last Friday. 
Another death was reported Sunday in Iowa, where officials in Pottawatomie County said a man critically injured during a tornado had died. <laughs>